What a special day today to be together, just us two. And what a lovely day to visit, and that's true. And I'm fairly certain that you'll agree that we're quite wonderful company. I welcome you to stay and sing and say, let's be together today. Hi, story friend. How are you? I hope you're doing well. You know, one of my favorite kinds of books to read are ones that are about science. There's so much we can learn about our world, about how things work and grow and develop. I have one here I wanted to show you called Grandmother Fish, a child's first book of evolution. See the fish swimming there? Well, why don't we just think more about Grandmother Fish and how things used to be a long, long time ago as we enjoy our story time. Grandmother Fish, a child's first book of evolution by Jonathan Tweet, illustrated by Karen Lewis. Fish. This is our Grandmother Fish. She lived a long, 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 long time ago. She could wiggle and swim fast. Can you wiggle? And she had jaws to chomp with. Can you chomp? Grandmother Fish had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp. Can you find our grandmother reptile? Grandmother Fish. Cousin Shark, Cousin Ray Finned Fish, Cousin Lobe Finned Fish, Grandmother Reptile. Reptile. This is our Grandmother Reptile. She lived a long, 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 long time ago. She could crawl across the ground. Can you crawl? and she could breathe air in and out. Can you breathe? Grandmother Reptile had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe. Can you find our Grandmother Mammal? Grandmother Reptile, Cousin Dimetrodon, Cousin Bird, Cousin Triceratops, Cousin Lizard, Grandmother Mammal. Mammal. This is our Grandmother Mammal. She lived a long, long, long time ago. Her babies could squeak when they were hungry. Can you squeak? And she could cuddle with her babies and feed them milk. Can you cuddle? Grandmother Mammal had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe and squeak and cuddle. Can you find our Grandmother Ape? Grandmother Mammal. Cousin Elephant. Cousin Carnivore. Cousin Whale, Cousin Horse, Grandmother Ape. Ape. This is our Grandmother Ape. She lived a long, long time ago. She could grab branches to climb. Can you grab? And she could hoot when she was happy. Can you hoot? Grandmother Ape had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe and squeak and cuddle and grab and hoot. Can you find our grandmother human? Grandmother Ape. Cousin Gibbon. Cousin Orangutan. 
cousin gorilla, cousin chimpanzee, grandmother human. Human. This is our grandmother human. She lived a long time ago. She could walk on two feet. Can you walk? And she could talk and tell stories. Can you talk? Grandmother Human had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe and squeak and cuddle and grab and hoot and walk and talk. And I see one of them right here. Mother cats have kittens. Mother dogs have puppies. Mother cats don't have puppies, and mother dogs don't have kittens. At the back of the book it had said, no individual animal changed form, such as from a fish to a reptile. Instead, children were a little bit different from their parents. And after many generations, these differences added up. And the newer animals were different from the older ones. Then they represented a new kind of animal or species. Isn't life a marvel? There's so much we can learn and so much to try and understand. I like sharing new ideas with you. And I enjoy being with you very, very much. But for now, it's time to sing. So long, farewell till our next story time when I will be with you again. It's time to go till our next hello. Till next time from me to you. Children are different from their parents. You get to decide the kind of person you want to be right now. You are capable of doing so many wonderful and kind things. I'm really glad to have a story friend like you. I'll be back next time. Bye for now.